Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today I'm reacting to Hell You Call a Dream by The Warning. Now this is a special request coming from Rasmus, so thank you very much for your generous donation. It means the world to me. It helps support this channel as well as guides the direction for the reactions that I do. So again, wanted to express my appreciation to you. Now, I'm excited for this reaction because A, it's The Warning, B, it's a live performance, and C, this song has a very interesting title. It already has me thinking. So I'm excited, guys. I hope you are as well. If you're new to my channel and enjoy honest and thoughtful reactions, hit that subscribe button and let's just jump in. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's already instantly recognizable. Ooh. Oh, these lyrics. Mm. Ooh, let's go, Danny. Oh, do you hear the background vocal? Okay. Oh. Oh, I love these like instantly recognizable riffs from The Warning. That is just one of the many special things about The Warning is that they come up with such catchy hooks, such catchy riffs, melodies, even lyrics to some extent. I think it's very hard to do that and make them instantly catchy, instantly recognizable. And the warning, they knock it out of the park every single time. I just love that riff. Oh, I'm going to listen back. And the background core, uh, the chorus. Or background choir. Ooh, okay. The building the anticipation. <laughs> Ooh. I love the enunciation on her words here. Listen for how she's switching from like a grittier sound to more of a sing-songy sound and then into a more of like a speech kind of sound where she's just is literally talking to us. Do you hear the transitions? Grit. Singing. Then life. Did you hear life? It sounds like she's just speaking that word. So cool. <laughs> I love the background choir here. What's happening? Oh, these guitars. Oh, let's go. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Danny just like picked up the sound from the floor with brute force, almost like Sisyphus pushing the boulder up the hill when inevitably it's crashing down. However, Danny's voice is not like Sisyphus. She's successful. She pushes it past what we believe is possible. That was incredible. I want to hear that again. Right through the ceiling with that one. Beautiful. Oh, powerful. So powerful. Yeah, okay. Come on. Oh! Okay. And how to... Oh, Danny. 
Oh, her vocals are crushing. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, that was phenomenal. Rasmus, thank you so much for recommending this to me. Thank you so much. I, I absolutely, I say this time and time again, I love the energy that the warning bring, but in this track especially, in this live performance, I mean, Danny, she soared. She just, she just captivated me. I feel like every single moment there was just me waiting, building this anticipation, and then Danny takes me to that edge. She actually brings me to that catharsis where I feel like, wow, she hit the note that she's looking for. She made that melody sound good, and then she pushes it two steps further than what I ever expected. Ah, I love that. And then in the final kind of refrain and chorus there, we can hear Danny's vocals over the top, almost soaring over the top of everything. Despite her being the lead vocalist here, in those moments, it felt like she was taking a backseat a little bit to the track, to the production and all the instruments that were that we were hearing in that mix. She took that backseat, but instead of just disappearing entirely no what did she do she changed it up she added to it she added these beautiful harmonies over the top that were crystal clear and very different from what we were hearing underlying everything there you know something i like to say about great rock bands is they let the vocalist shine in in ways that are let's say unanticipated and i think the warning despite having only three members they managed to make every single player, every single instrument shine and really take front, or front and center stage in not obvious ways. There's so much good that I could say about the warning in general, but let me just like pinpoint it into this song here. Love, love, love the riffs, love the vocal melodies, absolutely. And then showcasing Danny's vocal prowess there, shooting through that powerful note, holding it, ascending it, and then ascending it even further. I mean, I'm just an absolute just i'm an absolute fan of the warning if you couldn't if you couldn't tell at this point i don't even know what i can say that is like not me just sounding like a fanboy for this band and you know i guess that's one of the reasons why we all like to watch the warning do their thing and then why you guys all watch the warning reactions because this band really brings something out of you and this is something else that i say about these warning reactions is their music is in in general to me very simple i can quickly grasp it and each piece the refrain the chorus the verse the pre-core every single part of their songs are so pleasant to listen to i never feel like there's a part of the song that i'm like chuck it out i don't like that or this element here felt a little bit extra they are so tactful in the way that they compose their songs and the way they perform them i mean it is a delight i am so very happy with this one guys if you enjoyed my reaction though hit that subscribe button and have a great rest of your day Take care and peace.